Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I have gone pom pom mad and I have made a pom pom cushion. When I was in London last month in May for the Chelsea Flair show, I popped into Liberty and in Liberty I was rummaging around the homeware section and I found a pom pom cushion. Now it was um, it was completely different coloured, I think they used like different wool but I got my inspiration for my cushion from that cushion because I was looking at it and I was like, do you know what, I think I could make that. For this DIY you are going to make a lot of pom poms. I was making pom poms on my lunch break, I was making pom poms in the evening, I was getting delirious with pom pom making but it was actually quite fun making all the pom poms. I used four different colours um, from my cushion, you can get so creative with this, you can use different wools, um, you can make them as fluffy as you want, you can do different sizes, different colours, you can put your own stamp on this, um, your creativity is your oyster. <laughs> so I was looking around on the perfect way to make a pom pom, I went with the old school way, I was on the hunt for a pom pom maker um, I couldn't really get one easily um, I could have bought one online quick enough but I decided to go old school and I use the cardboard trick so the next little section I'm going to show you how I made my pom poms now when you're trimming your pom poms you will have a lot of excess wool that comes off and when I was watching other people's videos they're like oh my god that's such a waste I decided to use the excess bits that came off as filler for my cushion and um, so if you have any wastage reuse it you can use it as filler so I'm going to show you now how I made my pom poms made all of your pom poms and you have trimmed them and you're happy with them you're then going to stick them onto your cushion now i had a cushion that i made in a previous video which was my how to sew an envelope cushion video but go to pennies primark any of the cheapy shops or you might have an old cushion case pillow case cushion case pillow <laughs> might have an old cushion lying around that is the same kind of shade of colour for the wool you've picked. So just reuse something you have in your house or buy something really cheap or go and make one and I will link my video below. Now to stick all my pom poms on, I was like, first of all, I was like, oh, I'll just sew them on. Then I realised how many pom poms I had made and how the effort of hand sewing all of the pom poms on so I decided to use a fabric glue and they're like they're sturdy like they're not coming off I used a good fabric glue 
Um, so I inserted a piece of cardboard in between my fabric because if you lay your pillowcase down and stick them on you're going to glue the whole thing together so you won't be able to get your pad in if that makes sense so put a bit of cardboard in and then glue all of your little pom-poms on the glue i used if you pick it up it takes a few minutes for it to dry it's not like an instant dry it will grab and stay in position but it needs a bit of time to dry um, and then once it's all dry you can put your little um filler in so you have your filler your pad basically and you put it in. Now some of your tassels or your pom-poms, they might go a little bit flat, but just gives them a little ruffle and um, fluff them back up and then you can give them a little trim. If you have a few kind of stragglers, you can just give them a little trim. pom-pom cushion. Blondie, I don't know if you can see her. She's she's there. She's she's that white blob. Say hi Blondie. <laughs> she actually was grand with the pom-pom making. Um, got a bit excited with the wool because obviously cats and balls of wool. Um, but otherwise I had no cat issues <laughs> with making my pom-pom cushion. I was teasing a lot of you guys on Instagram and I was like what am I making? Um, and when I shared a little sneaky peek of my pom-poms loads of people thought I was making a pom-pom wall like a flower wall but a pom-pom wall and I was like do you know what? That's a really good idea making a pom-pom wall. However, I needed like a week off after making these pom-poms. <laughs> so to make a pom-pom wall, I imagine, would be a team job. You would need a lot of pom-poms. I reckon I have about 50 pom-poms just on this cushion. But listen, it's a bit of fun. I've done mine in my colours to match my kind of decor and my room. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see how you guys put your own stamp on this. Tag me on Instagram, or maybe you've already done a pom-pom DIY. Send me your DMs on Instagram, tag me, um, comment on my blog, whatever, you can send me pictures. So that is it for this week's video. Please give this a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will catch you all in next week's video. Bye everyone!